Craig here and today I'm creating a quick follow-up video to my previous video how to add a custom contact form to WordPress. Now it came to my attention the other day that for some people if they follow along to my video they still get an error message. Now it's only happened to a couple of people but after a little bit of research I discovered that this is somewhat of a popular problem. So what happens is they follow along to the tutorial, they set up their custom contact form and when they go to test it they hit send message and then they receive a red box error just like this saying fail to send your message please try later or contact the administrator by another method now the reason you're getting this error is related to your hosting company and basically what it is is they will only allow you to send email from your website if it's appearing as if it's coming from your actual domain so to fix a problem what you're going to have to do is log into your admin area and under contacts edit the contact form that you're using we're going to scroll down and right here where we, ha where we have mail we need to edit this from field now what you're seeing here this is the correct way to set it up so if somebody fills out the contact form it's going to display the message as if it's coming from their name and their email address it's a little confusing because yes it says your name your email but it's the whatever you enter in your name your email it's populated there so that is the problem because if Joe Blow from hotmail.com fills out my contact form the email really isn't coming from Joe Blow at hotmail.com so the only way to fix this is you will need to put in an email address that contains your domain name so my blog is thewiseaffiliate.com and my email address contains at thewiseaffiliate.com now this email address does not have to exist because you cannot reply to the email anyway otherwise you'd be replying to your own domain email but that will fix the problem so just keep in note if somebody does contact you via your contact form you'll have to you know extract the email address from the contact message and their name and then contact them in a separate email because simply hitting reply you're either going to re be replying to you know an email address that you own or an email address that doesn't exist that you own anyway i hope that video helps uh, questions or comments feel free to post them below and have yourself a great day